There is a dire new warning today from climate scientists about the state of sea ice in Antarctica. September is when the continent's sea ice reaches its peak, and this year that peak will be the lowest in almost 40 years. That could have far-reaching consequences and be a sign of climate troubles to come. Let's bring in Hillary Johnston on the story for us this morning. What is happening, Hillary, exactly that's set off all these alarm bells? Well, Heather, what we're hearing from researchers is that at this point, they don't believe that the scientific barrier has been passed for them to be able to come out and say, yes, this is absolutely climate change. But what they are also saying is that certainly some of the projections that they've had over the years for climate change would suggest that that is what's going on here, that global warming, global heating, as they're calling it as well, might be responsible for this. So take a look at this. You can see there the continent of Antarctica, all that white around it, that is sea ice and then that yellow line or orange line that you're looking at that has sort of been the average over the past 40 years for where the ice should be as you can see uh, that photo of what it currently looks like is not as large as where that yellow or orange line currently is so showing you there that there has been a reduction in sea ice very very concerning for researchers uh, as you were saying there of course September is usually when you would have uh, some of those levels those highest levels and so very concerning right now that that is not the case. Here's a little bit more of what we heard from one sea ice researcher. This started in summer. Sea ice was much below the usual coverage for summer. Uh, and then this winter, um, sea ice, it, it froze over at a much slower rate than it usually does. You can look at um, every other year and the seasonal cycle is usually really reliable. You can look at every other year overlaying and you can see 2023 just standing off the charts uh sea ice is you don't need you don't need statistics you don't need fancy ways to look at it this year is unlike any other year and Heather, when you look at some of those other records, previous records, the one that we're seeing this year in terms of that record low, it is beating previous records by more than 1 million square kilometers. And when you're taking a look at this chart, for example, that's showing you the months of the year. So September, as you can see, usually that's when you would have the most ice, but then you see that blue line there showing that it is not anywhere close to where it would usually be. And I mentioned, Hillary, at the outset, this could have far-reaching consequences. Remind us why Antarctic sea ice is so important. Well, for, for one, of course, it would be the water levels, ocean levels, seawater levels that, of course, uh, could impact coastlines right around the world. And they say, in particular, that sea ice, so the ice around the actual landmass of Antarctica, uh, that that is really, really key. It also plays a big role in reflecting the sun back into the atmosphere, which is important as well. So here's what we heard uh, from one scientist in terms of some of those far-reaching consequences. When scientists have been saying over the last decades that, you know, climate change is happening, we're moving into dangerous territory, we need to take action, um, they've been erring on the conservative side of what might happen. And in reality, things are, are happening faster on the ground. What that means, of course, is politicians need to take action a lot faster than they are. You know, there's so much more we could be doing to reduce carbon emissions, making quality of life better, and trying to stop this climate change getting worse and worse and worse. There's also an impact to wildlife in Antarctica as well. And one of these researchers pointing out that over the past couple of months, they've estimated that as many as 9,000 emperor penguins may have died. Uh, part of the reason for that is that the chicks, the young ones, uh, aren't able to swim right away. But when there's been a reduction of ice, there are less places for those penguins to go, resulting, unfortunately, uh, in thousands of their deaths. Hillary, thank you very much. Thank Hillary you. Johnstone with that report coverage from Ottawa.